So out of nowhere, I just decided to rewatch Terror in the Isles again, which I have on the Halloween 2 Universal Blu-ray that came as a special feature. Um, and if you don't know what Terror in the Isles is, it is a 1984 um, video compilation of famous scenes in American horror um, with Nancy Allen and Donald Pleasance as the narrators. And you see them in the, in the theater talking while this while these scenes are happening. But it came out in 1984, so every big American horror movie that came out before 1984 is in this movie. Um, like Jaws, or Halloween, or Halloween 2, or Friday the 13th 1 or 2, or Nighthawks, or um, The Fun House. Any of, all, and so many others. I, I can mention a million horror movies that came out before 1984 that are in this movie and I love that this is a compilation and I love the fact that this is very very well edited where you see so many horror scenes mixed together of people screaming of people talking and reacting of people running away and it should and it cuts interstitial or not interstitials but it cuts intersects and intersects all of these scenes together where it works very well with the editing I love how they instill moments of fear and suspense and mix them with other scenes of fear and suspense. They really work well in this movie. Um, and it's funny because while Nancy Allen and Donald Pleasance are in the theater, they are talking during and talking about funny ways about how the audience will react to moments in horror, like how you feel at a horror movie. And, uh, and I love this line from Donald Pleasance where he says, "Why make up horrible things when we are when there are so many terrible things in the world?" Um, because he's talking about how horror is something that is terrifying. Like, why do people watch horror movies? And I love his response where he says uh, that we invent artificial horrors to help us cope with the real ones. And I just think that line really sticks with me. Where you really do it, it kind of completely like gave me the the answer to why I love I love horror because horror is escapism whether it's it's really incredible with horror where you like to just be scared or just want be entertained and and for a lot of people I like how this explains that like if there are horrible things that happen in the world horrible scary things that are replicated on movies but I love that he says that this is a way for people to cope in terms of real life horror as opposed to horror on movies. Um, so I love that as well. Um, and I really just thought this was an incredible like comp compilation of, of scenes from famous horror movies. And I'm glad that I've seen a lot of these. There's a couple that I have not seen and they kind of ruined the ending of Nighthawks for me, I'm assuming. Because um, I haven't seen Nighthawks, which I hear is fantastic, and I really want to see it. And even though I saw the ending, I guess, in this compilation, I still want to see Nighthawks. I think that looks awesome. Um, and I hear it's just a great movie. Um, and it's the only negative, I think, it stinks, because this is an American horror movie compilation. They don't have any, like, Giallo in it, which I thought would have been cool, but... But whatever, it's totally fine. It's still, there's so many American horror movies. And in 1984 and before, there were still many horror movies that they probably had trouble editing down and fi figuring out which scenes do we show from each movie in this compilation. So, I really, really love Terror on the Isles on rewatch. I thought this was an awesome, really incredible compilation with great editing and great narration um, by by Donald Pleasance and Nancy Allen, and they're just so great, and they're it's so great that we got two big horror alumni um, in to be the ones that are narrating. That's great, and their their voices work very well for this too. Um, even though you see their faces on screen, so they're narrating, but you see them talking like in the theater to you. Um, but I really love that. I just think this is an incredible compilation, and. What do you guys think of Terror in the Isles? Tell me down below if you have seen it. If you haven't, go out and see it now. It's on the Halloween 2 Universal Blu-ray that came out, I think, in 2011. And it should be available online, I believe. So, uh, And Terror in the Isles, I think, might be on YouTube. Like, it's it's probably public domain. Or not public domain, but it's probably, like, not as easy to get rid of on YouTube. Because I, I think Universal, like, 
licensed it, but I don't think it's by a major company. I think Universal just distributed it. So, so go see Terror in the Isles. If you have, tell me down below what you think of it. And thank you guys so much for watching.